हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम सो दिस टाइम फॉर वी वी एम ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव वी हैव द लाइफ स्टोरी ऑफ शांति स्वरूप भटनागर एज इन द सिलेबस ओके सो वी आर फर्स्ट स्टार्टिंग विद द फर्स्ट चैप्टर विच इज द मेकिंग ऑफ द जीनियर्स अर्ली लाइफ ऑफ डॉक्टर शांति स्वरूप भटनागर इट स्टार्ट विद अ स्लोप यथा हय के चक्रे न रथ से गतिर्भवेम पुषकारेण वीना दैव न सिद्ध्यते सो दिस मीन्स जस्ट इ चैरी एज अ चैरियट के नॉट बी ड्रिवन विदाउट अ व्हील अ मैज डेस्टिनी के नॉट बी फुलफिल्ड विदाउट परसिवरेंस कमिंग टू डॉक्टर शांति स्वरूप भटनागर The persona of Dr. Shanti Sarup Bhatnagar is reflected as a man who stood tall, who set standards and laid the foundation stone for building a strong nation. He is an amalgamation of an accomplished scientist, an able administrator, a poet, a wonderful communicator, and above all, an exemplary human being characterized by his generosity values integrity and humility and commitment to serve others family background and early childhood born on 21st february 1894 at bhera in shahpur district in then undivided state of punjab which is now in pakistan shanti swarup bhatnagar belonged to an elite educated family both from the paternal and the maternal sides his mother parvati bhatnagar was the daughter of a distinguished engineer munshi pyarelal of shikandrabad in up while his father parmeshwari sahai bhatnagar was the eldest son of rai bahadur munshi manohar lal of panipat munshi manohar lal held a high executive post and was particularly noted for his piety and honesty shanti swarup inherited from his mother's family the scientific temper and poetic attributes and from his paternal family especially from his father he imbibed an independent spirit shanti swarup's father parmeshwari sahai bhatnagar was a distinguished graduate of the punjab university he refused to take up judicial or executive post or executive service which was the tradition of the family and became a teacher of the high school in bhera parameshwari sahai bhatnagar became a member of brahmo samaj a moment which stood against hindu orthodoxy and caste system and was committed to a social equity for his religious beliefs parameshwari sahai bhatnagar was totally estranged from his family members when his father parameshwari sahai bhatnagar died on 26 october 1894 at the young age of 22 shanti swarup was just 8 months old whereas his elder sister was 2 years old parameshwari sahai sudden death left his young wife and children in dire poverty Since Parameshwari Sahai's father and mother had both died and his uncles were in Lahore there was no other option for Shanti Swarup's mother than to go to Secunderabad to her father Munshi Pyarelal she took over many household responsibilities in her father's house where she had and her children were all taken care for of It was at Secunderabad under the guardianship of his maternal grandfather Munshi Pyarelal that the childhood of Shanti Swarup was passed. Young Shanti Swarup received guidance from Munshi Pyarelal who was an engineer one of the first 
to have qualified from the Roorkee College, presently which is called IIT Roorkee, the first engineering college in India. Munshi Pyare Lal was a strict disciplinarian but was never harsh. He did not allow children any pocket money because he thought it would make them self-indulgent. However, he always gave them money whenever they really needed it. He told them never to get involved in disputes. As he grew older, Munshi Pyare Lal became more religious and reclusive. A new house was built at some distance from the older one into which the family shifted. Shanti Swarup stayed with his grandfather who continued to live in the house thereby developed a liking for solitude because he was staying all alone in the old house. Fruits, trees were planted and the house and young Shanti Swarup would often climb the trees and feast on guavas and mangoes. At the height of the mango season, hundreds of luscious fruits were plucked and thrown overnight into the water tank in the garden. Such was Shanti Swarup's liking for mangoes that during summers when the family sat in the shady, shady uh, bowers of trees to enjoy mangoes being cooled in water tank, he would be thrown in it to eat as many as he liked. Those were the happy early childhood days. Munshi Pyarelal accompanied his grandson Shanti Sorup on the first day of his school. On that day, Shanti Sorup learned that his father had died when he was just eight months old baby. Till then, he considered his maternal grandfather, Munshi Pyarelal, to be his father. The little child, age six, was disheartened and wept to accept the bitter truth. Thus began his school days, where seeds to his wholesome personality were sown, which found a conclusive or conducive atmosphere to boom and blossom later in life.